Hi, my name is Jeremy Martell, and today I'll be teaching you how to upgrade the hard drive in a mid-2010 13-inch MacBook Pro. To complete this install, you will need a new 2.5-inch hard drive. I'll be installing an OCZ 120GB SSD drive, a 65mm Phillips screwdriver, and a number 6 Torx screwdriver. Once your computer is turned off, you want to ensure it's disconnected from its power source. Also, ensure you're working in a static-free environment, as any static discharge can ruin the circuits inside the laptop. You are now ready to remove the back panel. To do this, flip the laptop over. The first thing you need to do is remove all the screws that outline the MacBook Pro using your 65mm Phillips screwdriver. Once all the screws are removed, you will be able to lift off the back panel and in the lower left hand corner is the hard drive. The clear tab attached to the hard drive will help you lift it out, however first you'll need to remove the brackets that hold the hard drive in place. They are located at the bottom and top of the drive and you should only need to remove the top bracket to remove the hard drive. You will need to loosen the two screws holding down the top bracket using the 65mm Phillips screwdriver to remove the bracket. Once the bracket has been removed, grab the clear tab to lift the drive out and remove the SATA connection on the left hand side of the hard drive. The hard drive will have four Torx screws, two on each side, that the mounting brackets use to hold it in place. The new drive will have four holes for these screws on it. Using the number 6 Torx screwdriver, you will need to remove the screws on the old drive and attach them to the new drive. Once the screws are attached to the new drive, take the eSATA connector and connect it to the drive. Next, remove the clear sticky tab from the old drive. It should easily peel off. Attach it to the new drive and then place the drive back inside the laptop. Reattach the top mounting bracket so it will hold the drive securely in place. We are now ready to put the back cover on. Place the back cover onto the laptop and then put all the screws back in place. Be sure to be careful when you're tightening the screws as it is extremely easy to strip them. I usually tighten them until they're snug and then run my fingers over the screw to ensure that it is flush with the back cover. Once all the screws are in place, turn the laptop over and you're ready to go. That concludes our video, so thanks for watching and feel free to post any questions or comments below as I'll be happy to answer them.